It's Young People's Week. It's their chance to win money and prizes on Card Shark. If they play their cards right, they can win this fabulous holiday gift package and a trip to Hawaii. And the chance to take home $32,000. And now, the host of Card Sharks, Bob Eubank. Thank you. Thank you, Gene Wood. Hello, everybody, and happy holidays to you. Welcome to Card Sharks. You see all those prizes? Yeah. It's Young People's Week on our show. We've got a lot of money to give away, some wonderful prizes, and a couple of surprises, too. But right now, before we meet our Card Sharks, say hi to the two prettiest ladies in television. There are lovely dealers on Card Sharks, and they're with us every morning, and here they are again. Lacey Pemberton, Susanna Williams, our dealers on Card Sharks. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, good morning and happy holidays. Pretty. You guys are really in the spirit. Okay. Oh, yeah. If you would deal the cards from the top, we'll get our two card sharks. It's Young People's Week on our show. And here come our two young people. That's no young person. Well, that's yeah. My, that's my friend Bob Gowen. And yeah. how tall are you, Robert? 4'1". Four, 4'1". Four <laughs> yeah. Just a glandular problem. Though. Yes. Would you please come down here and talk yes. to me for just a moment? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bob Gowen. And Bob has a new show that's coming on CBS, what, January what? 4th. January 4th. This Monday. This Monday. And what time will it be on? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. And in the East Coast? What is it? I always oh, 10 say 10 a.m. in the yeah, East. Yeah, so you'll be on right before Card Sharks. Mountain time. Yeah, I'm, I'm on right before you every well, day. And the show's called? Friday. It's called Blackout. Blackout. Yeah, and All right. we are having a bar. Yeah. Okay. I really think... It's a great show. I really think you're going to enjoy it. And, and your name uh, is Bob? Gowen. And, and yeah. you spell your Bob with one, one o, B. one o, and I spell mine with two. And you're much younger than me, aren't you? Yes. Leave. Leave. The only See, I'm that... younger than Barker. Is that right? Yeah. So well, there's three Bobs in the morning, and we start with a young guy, and then the, uh, the best-looking guy, and then... The... We get progressively old as the day goes on. No, you said that because they get <laughs> mad at me when I say that. Thank you. Good luck to you, man. Bob, Blackout, you beginning much. January 4th. Let's see Bob Gowen. Now let's get another card shark in here. That's better. You're not a game show host, are you, Jeremy? No. Okay, not yet, huh? <laughs> Tell me about Jeremy. Hi, my name is Jeremy Bennington. I go to, I attend fifth grade in, at Gridley Street School in San Fernando, California. Okay, well, it's nice to have you here. Just relax, pal. We're going to have a good time. We can win some money and prizes. Mm -hmm. and there's a pretty lady standing next to you, and her name is Amanda. Hi, Amanda. Hi. I'm Amanda Lofink. I attend sixth grade at Crown Valley Elementary School. I'm 11 years old, and I have two brothers and one sister. Well, it's nice to have you two here. Remember, if you win two games, you're the champ. That's all you need to remember, okay? Lacey's got the cards all dealt out, and here we go with question number one. Jeremy won the toss of the coin. That's why he's standing where the champ stands. And Jeremy, here's your first question now. We surveyed 100 married men, and we asked them, if possible, would you want to be with your wife 24 hours a day? Well, How many married men said they would? They would? They would. Oh, well, oh, was right. <laughs> guys need their privacy. I don't know how, how many out of a hundred would say that, but lots of guys would and lots of guys wouldn't. I'm going to say it's a middle number, about 45. 45 out of a hundred scared men, would, uh, married men, would like to be <laughs> with their wives 24 hours a day. I see. Amanda, higher lower than 45. Well, I think that, I also think that a man needs his privacy, and he might not want his wife around the whole time nagging him or something. Boy, isn't or that something. the truth, yeah. So... <laughs> I say it's a little bit lower. Might be lower. Actual number of married men who would like to be with their wife 24 hours a day is 35 of them. You're right, Amanda. It was lower. All right. Yeah. Amanda, you can change this card, hon, if you want to, but no. I'll go higher. Yeah, higher. Look higher. What's going on. Got a nine. Um, I'll freeze. I'll freeze there. Sure, she'll freeze right there. Jeremy doesn't get to play the cards <laughs> this time, but we'll be back in just a moment to see who's going to win game number one. Young People's Week on Card Shark. See you in a second. Welcome back to Card Sharks, Young People's Week at our show. We've got a surprise for you now. Because Jeremy and Amanda, we've got an educated guest question for you. I want you to meet a friend of mine. And uh, the friend's name is Jughead. And uh, oh, Jug wow. Jughead the Ostrich is right there. And look at Lacey. Uh, Lacey is... <laughs> and this ostrich brought these two guys with him. Uh, yes. Over here. Lacey's over here, Jughead. Jughead. <laughs> 
Maybe this bird will like women from Chicago. Yeah. Anyway. Another one. Yeah. This is your question, Amanda. <laughs> that bird is not very bright. Oh, <laughs> According to Movie Land Animals, what's the fastest speed an ostrich like Jughead can run? Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> yeah. That bird looks like it could run pretty fast. Jughead thinks he's eating black-eyed peas. <laughs> And, and red cabbage. <laughs> I've seen in shows that they said ostriches are really fast animals. So I'll say about um, 90 miles per hour. 90 miles per hour. Okay, you have to excuse Lacey for that noise over there. <laughs> Jeremy, will it be higher or lower than 90 miles well, per hour? Well, I know, I know a little bit about birds. And <laughs> an ostrich can travel that fast, so it's going to be lower. You think it's going to be lower? <laughs> That's the craziest looking bird I've ever seen. <laughs> Don't tell him I have ostrich boots, okay? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, they'll take it out, don't worry. Uh, the fastest that ostrich can run is 52 miles an hour. Yes, Jeremy, it was lower. Are, are they, uh, are they very bright? Not, Not too bright, yes. Do you suppose that we could uh, see Jughead run 52 miles an hour? Not in here. Not in here. Not in here. Yeah. She's looking at the audience. Maybe she could run out there. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you very much. And Jughead, thanks for bringing the guys. Watch this exit, guys. Watch it. Oh. Uh, come on, Jughead. Yeah, you can do it, Jughead. Jughead didn't want to leave. Oh. <laughs> see you, Jug. Jughead, what do you think, higher or lower? <laughs> Jughead, freeze. <laughs> and I tell you what, why don't we let her stay because she likes the game, <laughs> like everybody does. <laughs> okay, Jughead, you let me know if you want to go higher or lower. In the meantime, who has the control? Jeremy, Jeremy does. Jeremy, here's your first card. <laughs> Here we go, Jeremy, six is your card. Wanna... Change it. Want to change that change card? It. Jughead, we're changing the six. Is it okay with you, Kyle? <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's an eight oh, now. Lower. Gotta go lower. 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 Lacey, look out! Oh! <laughs> look out, Lacey! There it oh, goes! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, my God. Yes. You scared him off. <laughs> Did oh. you see the look on her face? <laughs> That's the closest you've ever come to sitting in my lap, kid. Oh. I want you to know that. Yes. <laughs> Damn. Uh, oh, okay, here we go. What do you want to do with this eight here, lower. Jerry? Oh, lower than the eight. <laughs> oh, she's back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not. Not lower, no. Okay. <laughs> Amanda gets a free chance with a nine, Amanda. Okay, lower. Lower than the nine. It higher. is. If it's higher, you win game number one. You do. There you go. <laughs> Oh, guys. Amanda, you win $100, and game one is yours. That means that Lacey's going to start dealing out cards <laughs> from the same deck. And, Jeremy, you got to win this game to stay in the match, all right? Okay, Jeremy, this is your question. And all week we've had ten wonderful ladies who are moms in our studio audience, and there they are. Now, Jeremy, before the show, we ask our 10 moms, have you ever robbed one of your kids' piggy banks? How many of these 10 moms admitted that they've done that terrible thing? Well, they look like pretty honest ladies, and I don't think Which one, they... Jeremy? <laughs> All of them. Oh. Uh, I don't think they do something like that, so I'm going to say two of them. Two of them have robbed their, one of their kids' piggy banks. Okay, what do you think, Amanda? Well, my mom... Well, when it comes to my birthday, I get a lot of money for my birthday. And my mom, every once in a while, she's like, Amanda, can I borrow some money from you? Well, at least she asked. <laughs> I'm the I family bank I mean, we're talking bank robbed. <laughs> oh, you're, you're the family bank? <laughs> but two is an awfully low number. I mean, they all look very like they wouldn't steal their kids' money. But I think it'd be a little bit higher. Yeah, I see larceny in the eyes of several of them. <laughs> the actual number of these moms who have robbed one of their kids' piggy banks is... Nine of them, yeah. Nine of them. Boy, 
Which nine of you ladies have done that? Raise your hand. Only one honest person, Judy, in the back row. Barbara, how much did you take, sweetie? Ten dollars. What'd you do with it? Well, I was going to Hawaii, and I needed some silky little things to wear, underwear. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I had to borrow some Wait, money. You robbed your kid's piggy bank to buy suggestive underwear? <laughs> Yes, but I paid him back. Oh, good. Well, then I feel much better about it. Thank you very much. Okay. For $10, it had to be a very little article. <laughs> hey, Amanda, you ready? There's a card. Look at that. Hey! Lower, yes. Hey! Is it higher? Yeah. Hey! Lower, yes. Hey! For the championship, you've got hey! it. Congratulations to you, hon. Thank you. Boy, Jeremy, that was fast, wasn't it? Uh-huh. Let me tell you something. You're such a nice guy. We have some wonderful prizes for you. And we thank you very much for being with us. Okay. We'll see you some other time. Right. Thanks, Jeremy. Amanda, come over here, hon. All right, pretty lady. This is our new champ, Amanda. In a moment, we're going to give her a chance to win lots and lots of money and all these wonderful prizes and maybe a trip for four to Hawaii. We'll be right back to see if she can do it. Don't go away now. <laughs> Welcome back to Card Sucks. This very lovely lady is our new champion. We're going to give her a chance right now to win a whole lot of money and geez, some wonderful prizes because, you know, in addition to all the money you can win over there, Amanda, we've added a couple of jokers to the deck that the girls are dealing out. And anytime a joker pops up, that gives you another chance of winning that great holiday gift package, which includes a lot of things, including a computer, a sailboat, a keyboard, a pool table, bicycles, a VCR machine, and most of all, a trip for four to Hawaii. All right. <laughs> So we want you to win that. Because you are a champ, Lacey's got two jokers for you that gives you at least two opportunities of winning all of those wonderful prizes. We're going to get your mom in here right now. Come on, Mom, why don't you come in and help this pretty daughter of yours? How are you? Okay, I don't think she's going to need much help. She really plays the game well, but we're going to give her $200 to start with, and we'll see what she can do. Here we go, Amanda. Good luck to you, hon, now. All right, Amanda, with $200, your first card is a jack. A hundred lower. $100 lower than the jack. Look, with there. Yeah! Oh, it's going to be worth $600 if it goes higher than the deuce, and it does not, oh. but it's a push, no win. All okay. of it higher! Yeah, no win, no loss. All of it higher than the deuce, there you go. 600 up here, another four, you get $1,000, you can play or change the nine. Change that card with number two. Okay. Number two, all right, Let's see what the nine is. The nine becomes a king. Um, $1,000, sweetie. 900 lower. 900, lower than the king, aha! All of it higher than the deuce. Look at that. All of it lower. All of it lower than the ace. Yeah. You have seven thousand six hundred dollars, and a four is your card. Okay, I'll go um five thousand four hundred dollars higher. How old are you, sweetie? Eleven. Is there something weird about an eleven-year-old betting five thousand four hundred dollars? It's almost like it's funny money. $5,400 higher than the four. Be there. It is! $13,000. How about that? <laughs> Come here, sweetie. $13,000. Actually, thirteen two is what you want. We're not done. We're not done. Look. Lacey has two jokers for you. I want you to hang on to these, sweetheart. Over here, Susanna's got seven numbered cards. Behind one of them is the word win. If you find it, you win all of the prizes, including that fabulous trip for four to Hawaii that Gene's going to tell you about now. Do you know? A trip for four round-trip coach from Los Angeles to Honolulu. From Pleasant Hawaiian holidays, a fabulous week in famous Waikiki, including air transportation and luxury accommodations. Enjoy a Pleasant Hawaiian vacation from Pleasant Hawaiian holidays. Okay, sweetheart. $13,000 you've won so far. That's yours no matter what. Now go over there and win all of those prizes, if you would, please. Where are you going to put those jokers? Number three and number six, the lady says. You come over here. We're looking for the word win. If it's behind one of these cards, she wins all of those prizes, including that trip for four to Hawaii. You ever been to Hawaii? Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's win for Amanda. Is it behind number three? Yeah! yeah! There it is, Amanda! You've just won the exciting trip 
to Hawaii and all of the prizes. Jim, oh my God. Today's holiday gift package will receive Magnavox Auto Eject VCR. It's cable ready with digital tuning for 100 channels, 21 day programming, on screen displays, and wireless remote from Magnavox. And the Aqua Fin Sailboat. Designed for the inexperienced sailor, easy to rig, easy to sail, and capable of carrying two adults, fun for all ages. These Columbia his and hers 12 speed races with fully lugged frame, alloy stem, dual brake levers, and foam grips from Columbia Manufacturing Company. The Apple 2C is the ideal computer for the whole family. It's powerful and easy to use. Comes complete with a 2C CPU, color monitor, and stand. Yamaha's Lavanova CVP3 electronic keyboard. Features piano-like keys, built-in drummer, 16 musical voices. Great for first-time musicians and seasoned players. You and your family will have hours of enjoyment with this bumper pool table from Mikhail Darafi. Featuring solid oak construction, accessories included. Plus, you've won the fabulous trip to Hawaii. It's a prize package worth over $10,000. Yeah. Not only that, but our pretty lady has won $24,031 in cash and prizes on Young People's Week on Card Starts. And we'll be right back to meet two new card starts after this. Smile. <laughs> Welcome back to Car That was exciting, wasn't it? That pretty lady winning all that money, cash and prizes. Now we're going to meet two new card sharks on Young People's Week, and here they are, Andrew and Kara. Well, hello, Andrew. Hi. How are you, sir? Fine. What's your name now, Andrew? Um, my name is Andrew Wong. I'm 13 years old. I'm from Upland, California. I go to Damien High School, and I'm an only child. Well, so am I. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Yeah, it is. Got I your guess. own room. If you want a friend, you can go down the street, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Kara. Hi, Bob. My name is Kara Berry. I go to El Rancho Junior High. I'm in seventh grade, and my hobbies are ice skating. Well, <laughs> great. Nice to have you both with us. You win two games. You're the champ. Go down to play for all that money. Those wonderful prizes, too. Let's get it started right now. Andrew won the toss of the coin all week long. We've had these ten moms in our studio audience, and they're with us again. And they're going to help us out with this question. Now, Andrew, before the show, we ask our ten moms... In the last year, have you punished your child by grounding him? How many of these 10 moms have grounded their child in the last year? Well, these, these moms look all nice and stuff, but, I mean, they need to punish their kids. So I think about eight of them. Eight out of the 10, you think, have grounded their kids. What do you think, Kara? <laughs> well, if one of those were my mom, it'd be a pretty high number, but... Um, you get grounded? Yeah. <laughs> huh. Um... All those moms look out there kind of nice, but I still think kids do a lot of things wrong. So higher, it's going to be a higher number. Even higher than the eight, you say. The actual number of these moms who have grounded their child in the last year is seven. Wasn't higher, just a little bit lower. <sighs> Which seven of you moms have done that terrible thing? <laughs> oh, Nancy, how long did you ground him? My 14-year-old is grounded for life. For life? <laughs> <laughs> Eating and breathing is it. Eating and breathing, and that's it. That's Ladies, it. thank you. I know exactly what you're feeling. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. Andrew, you have the control, and there's an ace for you. All right, lower. Lower than the ace. Nine, Jacquard. Lower. Going on. Is it lower? Certainly. Uh, freeze. Freeze, freeze. on the old seven. Yes, he will do that. Okay. Freeze right there. Keeps Kara off the cards. We'll pause with these words, and we'll be right back with more card charts right after this. It's been quite a day. Well, we had a little ostrich as our friend. Gave away about 24000 in cash and prizes. We had a wonderful time. I hope you did, too. For Lacey Pemberton, Susanna Williams, Gene Wood, and the whole gang, I'm Bob Eubanks saying we'll see you next time with more young people and more surprises on Card Sharks. Bye-bye till then, everybody.